There's certain times that can guarantee you less showings, less activity, and less money when selling your home. And by time, I don't just mean time of year because everyone thinks of the winter as a slow period, which it is. And that is one time that I probably wouldn't list if I didn't have to. And you probably hear the opposite from a lot of realtors. There's less on the market. List your home now. There's not much competition out there. You'll get more. False. The average house price is always lower in the winter, but it's not only due to the seasons. I'm gonna go through a few others, time of week, time of day, time of the month, and then certain holidays and things that happen where you do not wanna be listing around these to get maximum value for your home. I'm Tristan Ritchie, I'm a realtor here with Lake City Realty. I've been doing it for about nine years. I've sold 350 homes in the last three years. It has been crazy busy, but I love it. So if any of this information helps you, please just drop a line, comment, subscribe, and like it. Every little bit helps a lot. Let's get right into it. A while ago, I saw a study that said the cheapest day to buy a house is January 7th. So that's after the Christmas holidays, people have spent their money, they're not in the swing of things yet, maybe they're working on their New Year's resolutions. So by that, it's probably the closing date because it starts to get slow by the end of November. So I always tell my clients is even though a lot of realtors try to get that business by saying there's not many listings out there, not much competitions, which means your house will stand out. Well, that sometimes is true. You usually won't get as much money if you're listing in the winter. That's just facts. And I tell my client because I want them to get the most amount of money possible is wait till spring if you can. Not everyone can. So there's other ways around still getting enough traction and action on them. But time of year is very important. The most expensive day of year, according to the study, was May 17th. That is the most expensive day to buy a house. Spring market, full bloom, people are out and about, the sun's starting to get hot, maybe they're in t-shirts. That's when people really start to get active. And there's a ton more buyers, but there's also a lot more listings. So the frenzy is up, people are getting excited. If you look at a trend, I can put up the trend up here. You can see in the peaks in the spring, troughs in the winter and then you get another little bump so those are the main aspects of time of year of course there's also another little dip in the summer and then it picks up a little bit in the fall right after kids get into school so this is all psychology this is just facts this is what we've known for the last little bit so this is the way i try to guide my clients depending on when they're ready or when they have to sell some people just have to which is okay then it comes to time of week ideally in sudbury you don't list on saturday sunday the board isn't open. There's maybe one listing a day. It's usually on Manitoulin Act. So in Sudbury, you don't list on the weekend. Also, everyone's gone to camp. So the best time to list is Monday and Tuesday. You want to be one of the first listings on the market because then you're being seen first. If you're at the end of the day, then you're competing with all the other listings of the day. There's maybe 12, 15 people are out. The clients are actually booking showings for the ones at the start. It popped up before and they're showing up to those. So they're, they're kind of busy in the afternoon, right? Realtors, I know my mornings, I'm checking listings all the time. By 11 o'clock, I'm usually gone doing showings and I'm not checking as much until late that night or if I have time. So time of day, very important as well. And then there's certain huge no-nos in real estate that you should never, ever, ever do. And I'm shocked that I still see some listings. Long weekends, May 2-4, July long, August long, um, right before school and before the March break. Please, if there's a long weekend or there is any type of holiday, do not list before the holiday because no one is paying attention. March break, everyone's gone with their kids. They're not in school. You'd think that maybe they'd be showing more houses, but they're not focused on that. Their kids are there. They're going skiing. They're doing something, leaving the country. They are enjoying themselves with the family. In the summer, don't list on a Friday. Never list on a Friday, especially in the summer. In the winter, same thing, it's probably not best. But in the summer, do not list on the Friday because especially Sudburyans, they're all gone to camp. They're going to the cottage. They're going hunting, fishing. They're not focused on real estate at all. So that is the worst time to list is on a Friday. So stay away. And then the last, this part is really Sudbury and really describes us and means a lot. There are two, three weeks of hunting season, pre-hunting, post-hunting, all that stuff, right? Depends what season you're in or where you're hunting. But do not list during hunting season. If there's a couple, a married couple, just two people that are buying a house, they're making a decision together 
And one of them is often gone for hunting season, especially in Sudbury. So big decisions can't be made as easy. So you really want to avoid listing your house in those moments. That's everything for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. There's so many intricacies when you're listing a property that um, you really want to have the best advice possible. Price, timing, preparation. There's a lot that goes into a listing. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you buy or sell here in the greater Sudbury area. And that's it for today.